somebody to get her. All that is understood by people. And when you explain a, a why, you have to be in some framework that you allow something to be true. Otherwise, you're perpetually asking why. Why did the husband call up the hospital? Because husband is interested in his wife's welfare. Not always. Some husbands aren't interested in their wife's welfare when they're drunk and they're angry. And so you begin to get a very interesting understanding of the world and all its complications in order to, to if you try to follow anything up, you go deeper and deeper in various directions. If, for example, you go, well, why did she slip on the ice? Well, ice is slippery. Everybody knows that. No problem. But you ask, why is ice slippery? That's kind of curious. Ice is extremely slippery. It's very interesting. You say, how does it work? You could, you see, so you could either say, I'm satisfied that you've answered me, ice is slippery, that explains it. Or you could go on and say, why is ice slippery? And then you're involved with something, because there aren't many things as slippery as ice. It's very hard to get greasy stuff, but that's sort of wet and slimy. But a solid that's so slippery? Because it is in the case of ice that when you stand on it, they say, Momentarily, the pressure melts the ice a little bit, so you got a sort of instantaneous water surface on which you're slipping. Why on ice and not on other things? Because ice expands when it, water expands when it freezes, so the pressure tries to undo the expansion and melts it. It's capable of melting it, but other substances contract when they're freezing, and when you push them, they're just satisfied to be solid. Why does water expand when it freezes and other substances don't expand when they freeze? All right? I'm not answering your question, but I'm telling you how difficult the why question is. You have to know what it is that you're permitted to understand and allow to be understood and not and what it is for me. And I just this example that the more I ask why, that's interesting after all. That's my idea that the teacher is the next. Interesting. And, uh, 
I could even go further and say, why did she fall down when she slept? That has to do with gravity. The balls of all planets are really out of the water. It goes on and on. Now when you ask, for example, why two magnets repel, there are many different levels. It depends on whether you're a student of physics or an ordinary person that doesn't know anything or not. If you're somebody who doesn't know anything at all about it, all I can say is that there's a magnetic force that makes them repel, but that you feel in that force. You say, but that's very strange because I don't feel kind of force like that in other circumstances. When you turn it the other way, they attract. There's a very analogous force that makes them Richard B. Feynman of the California Institute of Technology.